fam, Aaliyah here and welcome to today's video where I will be reviewing, doing a wear test and, y'all, an eating test using the new Fenty Beauty, what's this called? The Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint Long Wear Fluid Lip Color in the shade Uncensored. It is supposedly a true red, a universal red, a red that's supposed to work on a plethora range of skin tones, skin complexion, skin undertone. So we gon' see. I'm going to wear her tester out. I'm going to take my vlog camera with you guys. So you have to run a few errands and I have to eat lunch, y'all. I'm hungry. So do you think this red is like a blue red or an orange red? I was looking at different pictures of people wearing it from the deepest of skin tones to the lightest of complexions. And it looked blue red on some people, but like orange red on other people. So we're gonna see what kind of red she is. I really love the packaging. It looks very expensive, very designer, very Rihanna. But you know what I did notice? I like how the packaging is like street, like it's kind of like street, street wear, but then that, oh shoot, almost dropped it. And then the actual product is just high-end fancy. I feel like that's just so Rihanna. Like Rihanna can be very high-end fancy, but then she can rock street wear. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, I love Fenty Beauty. That's why my lips look a little ashy right now. They're, they only look this way because I have a little bit of foundation on them. And then I did highlight my cupid's bow. I'm really feeling my makeup today, even though it's just winged liner. Without further kanje, let's delve right into this review, wear test, and eat test video. And... <laughs> guys two in one because i have peach fuzz it already grew back y'all when i waxed my upper lip in my how i grew my brows video it already grew back so let me get my mirror i feel like this video would have been too short if i just reviewed a lipstick so we are going to vlog i'm just going to apply her oh wow the pigment oh shoot already got it on my teeth y'all <laughs> Okay, first of all, wow, I only needed to dip the brush into the little product one time, you guys. This is like one dip, and wow, wow. Two, it's, this looks so good on me, I can't even lie. Like, ooh, who is she? She real cute right now, wow. I really love how opaque it is. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't dry on you while you're working it, you know, working into your lips. I really like the applicator. Like, it allowed me to get a very crisp and precise line. It made my teeth look even wider. Re, re, this may be my new favorite, like, formula. Like, I really like the formula. But, let me see. It looks like it's a blue-red, but I can't tell. No, it looks blue-red on me. The reason why you can tell is undertones, okay? I it mean it's the underlying color. You can tell when something's like orange red because it just looks, you know what I'm saying? Like blue red, it just looks, blue red is like a complimentary red. This looks actually really good. Wow, that applied so easily. Re, re. This is like a satin matte finish. Like it's not too matte. It's like super comfortable. Oh my gosh, who is she? This is like the neatest I've ever applied lipstick. I feel like it was the applicator, like it enabled a very clean application okay you guys so i'm going to head i need to go to a few places so i'm going to vlog here's my little vlog camera i'm going to vlog we're going to do a wear test and an eat test just to see how we look while we're eating of course it's not going to be an indestructible lip color of course lipstick might come off we, we just want to see how it comes off how it looks after you finish eating because red is a statement color and have you ever seen people with red lipstick and you know it's kind of wearing off and you're just like girl come on re reapply some color but maybe they just don't know okay anyways let's go um and we will i will come back into the studio lighting to give my final thoughts and how it looks at the end of the day if i have to reapply i'll probably reapply during the vlog and yeah uh let's go you guys uh, why hello there this red looks so good you guys like it's like that classic pinup red, like, 
and it applies so well. The formula, though, the formula is what's shaking me, okay? It's not just the color, y'all. We've all seen red lipstick before, but it's just the formula. My hair looks really good, actually. My Bantu knots came out good. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let's stick. Let's stay on topic, because I, I tend to get off topic when I get chatty. I need to go to TJ Maxx, Target, and to get something to eat, but I don't know what I want to get to eat yet. So let me just run my errands first, and then we will go eat. You guys, this formula is so comfortable. Like, I let it dry for a little bit, because I was thinking, oh, maybe isn't it isn't dry all the way. It's so comfortable. It's, like, not even dry. It's, like, like I said, it's soft matte. It feels so comfortable but let me let me go eat because i'm hungry what should i eat i don't even know okay you guys so i'm at panera panera bread oh, wow this looks really good in this lighting yeah this is definitely a blue red but anyways you guys i'm at panera bread i'm about to get me a late lunch it is 3 47 p.m i started my day late because uh my morning was a little annoying like anyways i'm about to go to panera bread should i vlog myself eating like i don't know would that be appropriate for like a beauty video i don't know but we're we're going to see how my lips look after i finish eating just to see how it holds up you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna eat normal i'm not gonna do anything extra with my lips just so the lipstick doesn't come off uh, but yeah let's go get some food okay so i got the mac and cheese they gave me some bread i guess they gave me a cookie on the house. <laughs> and then I have a pickly prayer, pickly pear fresca lemonade, I guess that's what it's called. I'm back in my car. I didn't want to vlog in there because people were starting to stare at me and that makes me feel that makes me feel uncomfortable. But it still looks pretty good. Of course, like in here where I eat, of course it faded a little bit, but it still looks good. It's still intact. It isn't even bleeding. I didn't use any lip liner. The color isn't bleeding. It's still within my lip line, so it looks really good. And it's still comfortable. It still has that. It's like a hydrated satin matte finish. So it still feels good. I like it. Okay, I need to go to TJ Maxx. I need to get some sheet masks. So we still have some wear tests. I'm so hungry, you guys. I can't believe that mac and cheese was that small. That is so disrespectful. Like, okay, you guys, horrible lighting because the sun's down now. It's 6 o'clock. I'm back home, but I still need to go back out in a little bit. But girl, hold on, focus. She is still on. She is still pigmented. I'm shocked because this formula... It's so nice, you know, it's so comfortable. It's not like an entirely dry formula. It's like comfortable and the color is still vibrant AF. Everybody keeps staring at me <laughs> as I've been going places. So I know this is a very vibrant neck breaking red y'all. It looks so good still, oh my gosh. What time did I finish my makeup? Like two? So it's been like four, three, four hours. left a little bit of color there's barely like a lipstick mark still comfortable I haven't even reapplied yet I won't reapply so you guys can see how it looks okay see you then my stupid phone. All right, y'all, last meal of the day before I go ahead and review this lipstick. Get some Chipotle. I got a burrito bowl, got some queso, got some sour cream, got some chicken, got some rice, got some corn salsa, got some chips, y'all. Do y'all make nachos out of your burrito bowls? Because I do. Like, man, I feel like that's the only right way to eat a Chipotle burrito bowl if you, is, is if you make it into nachos. Anyways, last vlog update. This color is still vibrant, it's still popping. But it still looks so good. I haven't even reapplied it. Like, wow, Rihanna, you did that, girl. Mm. 
Chipotle burrito bowl nachos, yo. Okay, you guys, it is 10 p.m. Yes, girl, that is Rihanna on my phone, girl. I love Riri. <laughs> So this is how the lips look after I ate my Chipotle. Yes, they kind of disappeared like in this area, but you know, that's normal. But you know what really got me, you guys? I'm a person who always gets lipstick right here when I eat, when I talk. I don't know, it just ends up right here. Girl, nothing. And this color is still vibrant. Like it's, even though like a little bit of lipstick is missing like in like the inner portion of my lips, you guys, this color is so vibrant. Like, this is a beautiful red. This is a stunner. Ooh, girl. So, you know what? This, this, this color right here and this formula is 11 out of 10. Why? It's so comfortable. Like, it's not even a matte matte. It's like a satin hydrated matte. Like, it's matte, but it's like hydrated. It's matte, but it's like satin. Like it's not matte matte like drying matte, but it dries down matte, but it's still like comfortable matte. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like I really love this formula. I hope Rihanna comes out with more colors of this stunner lip paint. You feel what I'm saying? I really like this formula. It's so comfortable. And I hate liquid lipstick formulas. That's why now I've just been sticking to like gloss or like lip liners with gloss over top. Because matte liquid lipsticks are so uncomfortable to wear. It's like the type of matte that's uncomfortable. It cracks. This lipstick didn't really crack. Yeah, it kind of fell into the lines of my lips. But it didn't give like give me like that flaky crack. If you have ever worn like other kind of liquid lipsticks, when you eat, it starts to like uh, flake up or like do that pill. Like, like the texture of lint, like it starts to lint up on your lips. Like I hate that. And that's so ugly. It looks so ugly. So let me just touch up the color real quick because I don't want you guys staring at my lips the whole time. And it just glides on so beautifully, like... Wow, you guys, even the touch-up didn't give me no problems. Have you ever tried to touch up liquid lipstick and it's just, it's not working? Like, it just looks extra cakey and then you're trying to put liquid lipstick over top of the liquid lipstick that's cracking over top of the liquid lipstick that's like kind of like doing that lint up kind of thing like i don't even know why li liquid lipsticks do that but have you ever tried to do that and it's just like oh girl you might as well take the whole lipstick off and start fresh this second application was like really smooth really good it feels so comfortable like i am looking forward to rihanna releasing more colors one because this formula is a one this formula is 11 out of 10 and I will say this is a blue red, not an orange red. I can for sure say this is a blue red. But you know what? One, uh, this looks really good on me. This looks good on a lot of people, you guys. Like, this is the red. I have never reviewed lipstick before, y'all. This is my first lipstick review video, so I'm probably all over the place. I literally finished my makeup at about 2 o'clock, left the house at about 3.30. It's now 10 p.m., so this lipstick has been on for 8 hours. Such a good lipstick, undebatable, undebatable. Anyways, thank you for tuning into my first lipstick review of the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint Liquid Lipstick in the shade Uncensored, which is a true red with a blue undertone. I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test slash eat test slash vlog of mine if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know that i did a good job that you loved it give me any feedback down below and any further video requests down below and if this is your first time on my channel girl join the family subscribe to my channel it is on the right hand side of your screen girl all you gotta do is press subscribe it is the color of my lips girl the subscribe button is the color of my lips girl just press it i would love to have you a part of my channel i normally upload makeup tutorials makeup reviews beauty reviews all things beauty if you are here for that i would love to have you and thank you to the ones who have been here and are tuning into another one of my videos i appreciate you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time always remember to serve honey and i will see you in the next video bye Thank you.